Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, first question we have here were, where were you guys going? And that's, that's in reference to the picture that I put up mm -hmm. when uh, I posted. So we were going, that was New Year's Eve last year. We were going to- This year. Last this year. year, yeah. New Year's Eve last year. <laughs> we were going to um, uh, one of our favorite restaurants, Petit Louis. We have mm -hmm. our specific table that we always sit at. So that is where we were going. Mm -hmm. Question number two. What's the first outfit that I imagine Robin in when I think of her? <laughs> uh, thong. <laughs> uh, That's not an outfit. I, that goes with an outfit. Right, okay. <laughs> um, like, you have, like, great style, but I... I, I just always love when you have just like something simple on like you have right now, like just a pair of jeans and a simple top. Mm -hmm. I just think you look really, really pretty that way. Thank you. Oh, and, oh, vice, and versa. vice versa. First thing I think of you, I mean, probably a suit or a blazer. I think of like, he spoke style, Brian, like walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> what color suit? That's specific. I don't know. Gray. Brown. Okay. Brown? Mm-hmm. Suit. There you go. <laughs> Question number three. Does Robin prefer me with a beard or without a beard? I wouldn't say a beard. Well, scruff, yes. But not like too much. Not like a full beard. More like it, sometimes if it gets too long, it gets a little like curly and <laughs> tickles. <laughs> so I'd say a good amount of scruff. Like right is now. This, is yeah, this a good, good. good amount of scruff? Yeah. I don't know. This is like four days or something. I like that. I like scruff. All right. Question number four. Uh, what trends do you love or hate? Why don't you start with that? I'm not a big trend person. Yeah, I'd say in general, I don't love trends because then everyone looks the same or everyone thinks they have to get something because it's cool when it's very cyclical and it comes back every three years or so. So, I mean... We're in a pandemic. I don't know that there's like a, a trend other than the sweatpants on the bottom and <laughs> the, <laughs> nice What did you stuff. call it? An outfit mullet? Outfit mullet, Out, yeah. Is that a real term? I now? think something. An outfit mullet. Yeah, Zoom mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guilty of that. Not right now though. I do have jeans on. Yes, anyway. What about you? Trends, trends that I, I, I don't really like trends as you know. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, it feels like it's always like the same stuff, like every season, if you like read the magazines right. or whatever, they're like, oh, like it's fall now. So mm -hmm. uh, we're totally it's gonna- like blue, green. Oh yeah, it's for like... guys, it's like olive. Like, yeah. oh, olive's gonna be the thing this this fall and it never really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I'm not a trend, trend follower. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like a big, I mean, yeah, I think like you evolve and there are things that I might like appropriate like here and there if they make sense to yes. me, but I can't think of anything like specifically off the top of my head mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I like. So not a big trend person. Yeah. I mean, other <laughs> than the Blue Ivy Adidas stuff, there's nothing that I'm like, oh, I need to have that the minute it launches for some reason. That's something that's that your, I've that's fallen your thing. into. Ivy, Ivy Park? Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy. Okay. Is that different than Ivy Park? It is Ivy Park. You're I, right. I don't. No. <laughs> Blue Ivy's the daughter. Ivy Park. There you go. Is the collection. Okay. All right. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best fragrance for a date? I. You know what we should do here? We should pick. What we like. When yes, we on the other. One. Yeah. Uh, Black Afghano. You, for you. Really? For on a date. For a date. Yeah. Like we're going on a date together. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's like sex appeal and musky and mm -hmm. what about for like someone watching who's like you know going on a first date uh well, i don't I think, know that i would choose black no i think we said that in the fragrance video that it's something you want you don't want it to be overpowering because if she has a bad reaction to it if she's going to have a bad reaction to mm. to you so right 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 but for you and and me it's black afghana mm -hmm. okay yes i you have a couple that I really like uh, when we go out, um, and it depends on the it depends on the time of day that it is. Mm -hmm. Like I would say for like just general anytime uh, doesn't matter. 
I really like uh, the Frederick Mao portrait of a lady. Mm -hmm. uh, That's recent. Recent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then for like a more elegant uh, kind of thing, uh, more it's a little more distinct, a little more special. That's um, um, the Dior uh, private collection, Oud Isfahan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good one. I should note that you bought all of those for me. <laughs> <laughs> the, Oud, uh, the, the Oud Isfahan, I think, is like a really good mm -hmm. compliment to uh, black Afghano. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe it's like we would walk into a room and people would be like, whoa, that's way too much. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that I think I got in an Uber like a year ago and the Uber driver was really into the perfume, which was a little <laughs> odd. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. how about moving on now? Mm -hmm. Question number six. What is the best restaurant you've ever been to? Ever? Ever. Are we, we're saying like together though. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. I feel like we, this sounds pretentious, but when we go somewhere and we travel, we try to go to a really nice restaurant or like a, a thing that we do is we invest in like, we'll go to a Michelin restaurant when we travel. So that started when we went to Florence, mm -hmm. right? So it's got to be one of those. I was going to pick um, that uh, Inoteca Pinciori from Florence. That was like the first the one first we went one. to. Yeah. That was just a really cool experience. There weren't there weren't many people there. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think they like had many tables, but it just mm -hmm. felt like really special. Um, and that was like one of the first. I think that was the first mm -hmm. Michelin star restaurant that I ever went to. Mm -hmm. So I liked that though. I didn't brace myself enough for that, so I think I had to like tap out for one or two of the courses. It kind of happens all the time. <laughs> so I would say that restaurant. Was it like 1990 bodega something in Barcelona? Mm, that we like... We stumbled kind of, upon, mm -hmm. we went to a museum and then we were walking around and I pulled up Foursquare to find like, where can we go and eat? And we happened upon this, I think it's bodega, 1900, 1990 mm -hmm. something. And that was like perfect amounts of tapas and like small bites. And they kept bringing us stuff until we said, no more. But the first bite was that uh, liquid olive. Mm -hmm. remember? I remember? Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember it. So that that was special because it was really good. We didn't realize where we were, um, and it was just it. It was, was like perfect. at a weird time too. It was like two yeah. o'clock in the yeah. afternoon, and then didn't mm -hmm. we have like a meal that evening? Probably, yeah. At the hotel, mm -hmm. was that that day? I have no idea. I don't remember. All right, <laughs> where are we at now? Um, Number seven, do you get, do you, people, do people recognize you on the street? Do you get star spotted? Me? I'm not a star. No. No? No. I don't, I don't really get, get it either. Every once in a while I will. And, and I some, like in New York. When in New York, it there. happens every now and then. Yeah. It's sometimes surprising. Um, yeah. Every once in a while. Yeah. I'm just your wife. I don't get recognized. No? <laughs> Question eight. This is a good one. Do you recall periods in your life when your style took a big change in direction? I wouldn't say it was good or bad, but I think when I moved to San Francisco, I was 22, 21, 22, and I went to Academy of Art for a <laughs> semester, and I definitely, I wouldn't say like fell into the trends out there, but there is definitely a different style in San Francisco than there was in New York, and I definitely, I cut my hair, I did like a layer of like blonde on top, darker on the bottom, the things I was buying, I think it was less about things I wanted and more things that were around me and I wanted to fit in. So it was all new. So I wouldn't say it's like something that stuck with me, but I remember do you think it was it a was, very different moment. Do you think it was because to like maybe, um, you know, like when you travel or people travel, like <clears throat> you kind of like I don't know. It's for, like, are you know, you're yeah. like testing out like something new because like you're not around normal mm -hmm. or you know, people you always see. So like mm -hmm. maybe you feel like uninhibited in a certain maybe. way. And like, you know, you went from the East coast all the way to the West coast. Yeah. So 
I mean, this isn't like a therapy session mm-hmm. or anything, but <laughs> well, probably yeah. It was like you're I, like trying to like reinvent mm-hmm. yourself in some way mm-hmm. or like find something different. Yeah, I think women also like after a breakup or like their change is usually cutting their hair off. So that's usually <laughs> the the main thing versus so that's like what style I, overhaul. That's what I got to watch out for when you cut your hair. I did that a year ago. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what um, about you? For me, um, I I. I I don't think it was like a big change in direction, but it was like more of uh, uh, just arriving at a, a place where I felt confident in what I was doing. And I would say that was maybe like, I lose track of time now, but maybe like uh, like three, four or five years ago mm-hmm. when I was just kind of like, you know, it's weird. Like, I always, rubbed off on you. <laughs> it's always like, it's weird, you know, like always posting pictures of yourself online and 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 one of the things that i think is unhealthy about it is like you you always you're over critiquing well no not that we always sort of like feel the need to like do something different and like like show people something new and do it for the gram yeah and and like that's it's bad for a number of reasons you know it 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 gets expensive and it's like, like why am i doing this you know and i just got to this place where it was i got I just felt more comfortable with uh, like doing, just doing like, hey, like, all right, mm-hmm. maybe this is boring and like you're tired of seeing it, but I don't care. It's it's how I like to dress. It works. I found like this formula that works for me and I'm, yeah. I'm good with that. So that was like a big like shift, just being like comfortable and confident with um, just doing my own thing and not worrying about all mm-hmm. these or trying to be different or try to, you know. There's something good about just having a thing. Mm-hmm. I'm always envious of people that are like super like, you know, yeah. straight ahead on that. I think a lot of that the outfits I didn't like in that video that we did mm-hmm. were at the end of that cycle. Like doing the hat and wearing the like there were a lot of like additional touches which now I think you don't feel the need to like, oh I need one more thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Question number nine. What is the most fun and bizarre experience you guys have had together i think we should sec- segment that off into like fun experience and bizarre experience or you could take the fun and i could take the bizarre yeah i was i don't <laughs> think i have a bizarre i have I a bizarre the fun <laughs> I, I what am i forgetting the fun would be the bmw yeah road trip i that, agree that was i mean you really like the car um I just slept in the back of it when you and Rob were driving the whole time. But the experience of just being thrown in the middle of Europe and being given a car and being able to drive around for five, six days, that was Meeting all those people. Amazing. Yeah. And yeah, it wasn't just like, we get to see all these things. We got to talk to a lot of people. We had a lot of great experience. Mm-hmm. Got to see my man. John Paulo. Every video. Hey, he's got a girlfriend now. I know. know. (laughs) Mazel. All right. Bizarre. Bizarre. So, (laughs) uh, it was when we were in Lake Como um, Mm -hmm. for the Concorso. And that first night, there was a dinner um, for... For you. Right. But but, so you were up up in the the hotel in the Mm -hmm. room. And uh, I was talking with, I thought you were like up and like watching TV oh. or whatever. <laughs> so I was like talking with Wei Ko, mm-hmm. uh, um, among other people. And, and I was like, oh, you, um, my wife, you know, loves you and, and you know, she'd love to meet you, you know. And, and he was like going somewhere. So anyway, we like went up to the, it just seems, <laughs> looking back on it now, it seems like really strange that this happened. And I'm always wondering. That you like, brought some man well, no, that I, was I just admired like, oh. to, to the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we like went up and like I knocked on the door and it like took a little while for you to come to the door. Because I was passed out. Because she was sleeping. Yeah. So <laughs> so like you come to the door and like you open it up and you're like. Oh. Probably like, in a robe. Or I'm like, hey, pajamas. this is way. And he's like, of course, he's like very polite and everything. I'm like, I don't even remember that. Yeah. I do, but it was a different time. <laughs> yeah. So that that's that's what I came up with as okay. I was thinking about that's bizarre. bizarre. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, moving on now <laughs> to question number 10. What is preferred drink from each of you? I feel like it changes. Yeah, same. Uh, right now, I always go through like the Aperol spritz. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like my drink of choice at home because it sounds like an alcoholic. I like the, the buzz you get from it more than like drinking a glass of wine or something else. I feel like it's refreshing, but you get a, like a fun little buzz mm -hmm. or mezcal. Mezcal? Love mezcal. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it like changes all the time too. Right now I'm because maybe because of the season mm -hmm. I'm on like a, um, Negroni. No, no, I do want to speak about the Negroni though. Um, I'm on sort of a, uh, um, cognac or, uh, Calvados mm -hmm. kind of kick mm -hmm. yeah. um brandy so i've been drinking brandy and um making sidecars <laughs> um <clears throat> but it it, it, it changes it kind of depends on the season yeah. i mean it we're i'll be drinking a martini soon because it's gonna be time to Nick watch Charles. time to watch the thin man and everything mm -hmm. yeah um negroni Negroni, yeah, I don't know. I, I love Negroni. I had one last night because you made a really nice uh, Italian meal. Mm. But I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not down on the Negroni, but I'm just a little tired of like all of the Negroni idolatry that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of with the spritz too. Yeah. It's like, okay, I, I get it. I like mezcal Negronis. Those are good. Yeah. A little twist. Yes. Question number 11. How do you stay connected to the world slash culture of elegance during COVID-19 lockdowns? I don't think I do. I don't at all. I think in the beginning, I was trying to like get dressed up and mm -hmm. have like still a wear like gowns. And yeah, I think I made you dinner in like a black gown with champagne. And Took your with... picture. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but since I, I don't. I'm, I'm trying not to stay connected to the world right now, honestly, and culture, it, it's hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, scroll through Instagram, yeah. <clears throat> that's all, but like, I don't know. There's not like a, I, some people like every Friday they'll get dressed up or whatever. Yeah. We haven't really done that, but mm -mm. no. I mean, we had to take a whole bunch of pictures of stuff for Michael Andrews things. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I got dressed up a lot for that. <laughs> but. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we've really been doing a good job at that. No. Question number 12. Rules you two follow when coordinating outfits. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't really on purpose. I don't know that we follow rules. Mm -mm. Mm, for me, I always try to dress off of what you will wear but what, how would you dress up like i'm wearing <clears throat> a white dress or something what would you do from that i would all i always like you to be sort of like the focus mm -hmm. and then i pick something that is complementary to it um that doesn't overshadow it so it's the cut like pulling the color in somehow yeah mm -hmm. okay question number 13 what are your guilty pleasures you go first. <sighs> Guilty pleasures. Cigars. I haven't. When's the last time I smoked a cigar? That, I would say that's a guilty pleasure. Though. Uh, every once in a while, yeah. I, 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 I'll feel that, but I don't know that it's a guilty pleasure. I think maybe they're talking about like bad TV or something. Well, I'd say shopping for me is a guilty pleasure. In the beginning of the pandemic, I bought nothing, didn't need anything, and then after. That went on for a few months. I've bought, like I bought something, like a pre-order for a black cocktail dress, which it's like something to look forward to. One day I'll need it. It's an investment, but I mean, every, people are saving money right now. I think that's, I would say that's guilty pleasure. It makes me happy. Okay. And sitting on the couch like a bum on the weekends. Once work is done, I turn off the brain. I want to, I enjoy laying on the couch and watching TV for no reason and watching the same thing over and over again. 
you judge me for it, but <coughs> I like it. She's watching Beverly Hills 90210 right now. I am. Yeah. Original. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I have a guilty pleasure like that. Yeah, you work you you work every day, all day. Yeah, I'm I mean, you're, what you like to do now is like do the crossword. That's not really... That's not a guilty, guilty pleasure, pleasure, though. Yeah. Hmm. You need one. All right. That should be your... Uh... Leave your suggestions for yeah. guilty pleasures down <laughs> below in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, question number 14. Do you ever have the feeling of being overdressed in your social circle? Well, I don't really have a circle anymore, so no, but... I've always, I've been getting overdressed since high school, like sophomore or junior year. I've always been overdressed or like more put together than your friends or like just putting more thing. effort. I feel like it would, it's mm. kind of the same thing. I, so I've consistently felt like that though. I guess as I'm older and you're not just hanging out with people you went to school with, you're hanging out with people that like you're choosing to hang out with more we all kind of do it a little bit more together or it doesn't matter as much. Mm -hmm. It's not such a like, Ooh, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> it's different for guys. I think, um, I don't feel overdressed compared to like That's the, it the people yeah. that, um, we are, it's like the feeling of being <clears throat> out of place or something for it. Right. I'm, it's I, diminished. I, when I, I don't, I don't feel self-conscious about it necessarily. Yeah. Um, but definitely you've also got to like read the room too. I mean, mm -hmm. like if, if you're just going to some like work place thing yeah. and it's, you know, that the people you work with don't dress up like that and this is not an occasion to do that, mm -hmm. then you shouldn't show up in like a three piece suit. I wouldn't yeah. do that. You know, you kind of like read the room mm -hmm. and, uh, adjust your, you know, yeah. trajectory accordingly. So. Though I guess when we went, we went to one restaurant during the pandemic when it was 25% capacity. capacity and we went to Petit Louis again <clears throat> and we did it for our anniversary mm -hmm. and there were mostly people sitting outside and we got our table and there was maybe one or two other tables in that side of the restaurant and I definitely was self-conscious wearing mm. a vintage like cocktail dress but it had all these feathers and everything all over some it. of them are still in the car <laughs> <laughs> so that I, i'd say i felt a little overdone but we it was like the one time we went out in how 10 months now mm -hmm. it's fine question number 15 would love to hear your thoughts on athleisure replacing traditional style this one's to you mostly because I think previously you mentioned something about athleisure. Yeah, wasn't really into it. Well, I think athleisure's, I've hated that term, I think. And there's different ways you can look at it. I still don't wear leggings out in public other than when I walk the dog or yoga pants, whatever. But since the end of the summer now that it's fall and it's getting colder i'm definitely more into it like i've kind of again we're in a pandemic you know if i don't have client meetings i'm definitely wearing sweatpants and more casual and but i think the twist now is i like to get like sets if i'm going to get um like the adidas ivy park collection i got the top and the bottom when I tried to get it in January, I only got the jacket and I didn't want to keep it. I wanted like the set. So mm -hmm. I feel like if it's more put together or just not like you're not wearing like dirty sweatpants out, it's fine. I, I, I don't know if that's athleisure now. I think it's like, the, again, it's dependent on the time and place. Yeah. Like, you know, I like the Lululemon stuff that I have. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear it to work or I'll wear it out to like run errands or whatever. But mm -hmm. that's kind of the... the uh, the extent of it, but yeah. to the question of like athleisure replacing traditional style, I mean, I don't, that's not going to happen. I would say, I hope not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Where are we? Uh, what is Robin's favorite outfit of yours? I feel like I answered this. I, I think it's probably your wedding tux. Not because it was the wedding. It was just, it was very you 
I mean, you have a ton of made to measure stuff now, but it fit you perfectly. The, the way you wore it at the wedding versus how you wore it when you were in London and you had the scruff and everything with it. It's, it's classic. It's elegant and you look really good in it. Thanks. Number 17. What is my favorite outfit hmm. of Robin's? Oh, all of them. <laughs> That's a cop out. No. <laughs> One. Uh, I mean, you, you looked gorgeous on our wedding day but you know, that's not a dress that you well the one really the, the second one that you wore hmm. um my favorite outfit of yours mm -hmm. i mean i could say like this one i feel like i know what it is what jeans and a belt and that short sleeve blue cashmere yeah sure it's, every yeah, time that's, i put it on kinda, you're like classic rock yeah that's exactly yeah. like what i was saying in the beginning like mm -hmm. just simple mm -hmm. like, you look really good like that uh, okay, question number 18. What is one quality that you see in each other that the world could use to be a better place? For you, I would say your drive and integrity. If you say you want to do something just for yourself, you do it. You're dedicated. You see it all the way through. I have 20 business plans I want to do, and I've like started each of them, and I... Just, I can't do it. Um, and just the integrity is so kind of similar, but like if you tell someone else you're going to do something, <clears throat> minus, the, minus cleaning the house, um, <laughs> you, you follow through. Like if you tell, if Rob says, can you do something, like you're going to do it. It's not like you, you just ignore it or it falls through. That's, integrity is very important. Thanks. And the world needs more of it. Um, for you, I would say, uh, it's the <clears throat> amount uh, that you care for, uh, care for, and the concern you have for other people, especially, uh, and the empathy you show for people, and the, your willingness to want to uh, help them, um, especially people that don't uh, have uh, as great a situation. You want to always mm -hmm. improve people's lives. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing better at picking and choosing. Who gets that? Yeah. People who will appreciate it. Okay. Question number 19. What are Robin's thoughts about you collecting expensive watches? <laughs> I mean, kind of you, it's not that you collect expensive watches. It's the, how quickly you'll, go into investing it it's not like it's like one every now and then now it's like it's settled down but in the beginning you went from you had no watches to one and then you want another one and another one like that piece was hard for me to <laughs> it's a sickness <laughs> to grasp. yeah like i i have a shopping problem but it, that the the amount that each piece was i'm all for investing but the amount you're investing in and the amount each one was was a little like, I, I just couldn't, I understood the action, but from an expense perspective, it was shocking, silly to me. Shocking. Yeah. You didn't always tell me how much things cost. Though. I didn't? No. Okay. And I didn't research because I didn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question. But this was also before we got married and things <clears throat> like merged a little uh, bit more. Okay. So I was like, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number 20. My girlfriend, my girlfriend will admit that I'm the more stylish one. Where can she find some style inspiration for herself? Hmm. Depends on her style. Yeah. I, I think Instagram, it's probably going to evolve over time. <laughs> but right now, that's where I typically get my inspiration. It used to be Pinterest, and it would be like saving things there, reading certain magazines, but. Like street style used to be where I got inspiration, but now it's kind of turned into following certain people on Instagram. Who are your favorite people? It depends. Like I love our friend on, I think she has classic style and her uh, nine to five chic. She has had the same style. I would not the same things, but it's, you can go back into her archive and it, it looks like it would still work now. 
Taylor Tomasi Hill, a little funkier. She's not, I used to love her street style more now. You know, she was a businesswoman and her mom. It's not totally the same. Uh, Crystal Bick, I love. It's very editorial. Uh, she does more of like shoots and not necessarily like she's walking around New York in these gowns, but I love the, the time and energy she puts into that. I feel like it depends once you, it's like you have to find someone and then you kind of find people that they follow and that they appreciate and you just kind of expand. All the people you mentioned, I'll have like a very sort of mm -hmm. classic and more timeless style to them. Mm -hmm. What about Jamie Beck? I like her, hers is more of like, I'm inspired by her photography. Mm. Um, there's a girl that I started following recently, um, I think it's signed Blake in Chicago. Her style's really fun. I found her through Crystal Bick. Um, yeah, I, I follow too many people now. I don't, I don't think it's one person <laughs> specifically. It's just like everyone connected. Um, I feel like I could make a comment and put some Instagram okay. accounts into it. Do that. Yeah. Well, if we, um, <clears throat> there were a lot of questions that came in and if we actually didn't get to your question this time, it, it's either because we answered it mm -hmm. in a previous video, which you can watch, uh, it's right over there. We're gonna be doing more of these in the future, so there are definitely some questions that weren't answered in that first one that we will get to mm -hmm. in the next one. Yeah.